Whilst there have been some steps taken by the OECD to address these concerns by introducing the inclusive framework, this still falls short of creating a level playing field for countries, particularly those in Africa, who, in spite of being resource rich, benefit the least in terms of tax revenue from those resources. But the last two years have offered us a glimmer of hope that things can and must change for the sake of those people that crave the development which the resources of their countries should pay for many times over but are denied progress due to weak taxation systems and poor governance which disadvantage resource rich developing countries such as Zambia. The UN General Assembly has recently passed progressive resolutions to introduce a UN tax body. If Zambia dies, the political party will die with it. So illicit financial flows are that unifying agenda. It is a war that is being waged on us. In South Africa, we've given it a term, a country director, we call it white monopoly capital, or where the Chinese have joined now, so maybe we need to amend that term. But by and large, it's been white monopoly capital. Now, it's a war waged on us. Uh, for us as members of parliament, first and foremost, this is very important in the sense that uh, everything begins with tax. Because uh, if we don't have uh, enough uh, taxes being paid, then we deplete our domestic resource mobilization, which we collect and then we start appropriating through the budget. And then our projects and all these other uh, projects the government starts to run. 